I, I do want to do actually no they they have uh, I'll see if I can post up an improvised gas mask they uh they they, they take a uh, not a two not a um not a two liter they take a like this the boxy water bottle like the big brick ones and they cut that down and make it look like one I'm sure I'd like, I'm sure you can I'd use like a two liter as well because I I know what you're talking oh, yeah. about I think you can use a two liter if I'm not mistaken you gotta get the uh got to oh, get yeah. the the right paddings and stuff though whatever yeah. the filter cuz I forgot how to make it I used to watch the videos on how to make it just cuz it looked cool like a cool arts and craftsy thing for improvised gonna, gas masks but I'm going to yeah. put in the chat and I'd love to go to I'd love to go to Desolation with uh, or a mega event with this on <laughs> cuz uh yuck encourages people to again do more with less and it would be just really funny to show up with uh, with an actual like improvised gas mask. Nice. So I'm gonna put them up in the uh, the the chat for us. Yeah. I'm... And if you can throw <laughs> them in the stream. <laughs> oh, that's uh, amazing. So there's that like there's that I think it's for uh, maybe Capri Sun, the the square style one. But there's a two liter one I have here. I'm gonna post that in. That's amazing. Uh, Improvise the Oh my god! The the type of response you would have walking around like that in public. These guys got some real balls on them. Yeah, and a pinch they'd work, but it's it's still a gamble. Cause that's no, I'm not I'm not knocking the functionality of it, but that's just, that is goofy, <laughs> goofy <laughs> looking. Looking. That's funny. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anyone in this current apocalypse walk around with an actual gas mask on. No, no, no take it back. I saw, well, I saw a picture, but I haven't seen anyone I, I'll do it. In the in the real world, I have seen a congressman with a gas mask on. What kind? Are was he good? trying to make Was he trying to make fun of the pandemic? I think he was. In doing so, I think he was. Okay, all right. That reminds me. Of, yeah. <laughs> I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I don't remember there, his name. There was a guy. There was a guy in your area that did it too. He was. Uh, we were. I was with. Um, with. Um, with Phoenix, and we were getting groceries or whatever for the. I think the end of the end of the year party, and I was in the checkout line. There's this dude who was. He was a tall. He was a tall. He's like six three. He was like taller than Anthony. He was wearing a trench coat, a plague doctor's mask, and a clown wig. That's ridiculous. And I wanted to go. I wanted to take a picture. Are you sure he wasn't just coming from a very obscure party? <laughs> he may have been. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to take There's a picture. some weird stuff around this area. It wouldn't surprise me. I wanted to take a picture of him, but he, he left before I get my camera out because I was in the middle of like bagging groceries. But I, I'd like to I'd like to show up to uh, to one of the Omega events with uh, I think the probably the first one, the one you're the yeah the first one the that you have highlighted. That one. The problem is with with yeah with the Omega events, you want to be able to put these things on quick. Yeah. So I have to find a way if if, if I can get some elastic straps to be able to like quickly put it on because otherwise I don't think I can. I had issues with my Hello. respirator. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I dropped that. Okay. Oh. I, I was yeah, sorry, it dropped out for a second. I was having issues putting mine on and off uh, with my respirator because this the strap on it uh, snapped. So I had to like when I got back to camp, I had to duct tape it. Ooh. Yeah, I was just gonna say carry like. an emergency roll of duct tape, and if you have that two liter or uh, the one gallon bottle uh, improvised gas mask, just you know tape your face. Yeah, <laughs> roll it around a couple times. You know, <laughs> if you can't if you can't duck it, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Because well, I know at the last Omega event, I got killed by the gas because we, when we were defending our campsite, we got they threw. Of course, they threw a gas grenade at us while we were trying to defend it. Yeah. Oh, like that style gas mask with the hose pipe. Yeah, stalker. Yeah. Speaking of stalker, those gas, I've been playing the, for the channel. The smokes. I'd be interested in uh, potentially using one of the. The airsoft, either like Anola Gaze or one of the other uh, smoke grenades, like in a IRL sort of scenario, that'd be. I think that might still have some practical use, you know. Yeah, I'd I'd keep some on, especially the ones that can put out a bunch of smoke. Yeah. If you're in buildings, they're great. Even outside, if you want to just kind of like have a diversion, you can toss a smoke grenade. You can make them. I made one back when I was a, a degenerate, <laughs> or more of a degenerate. It's a. Uh, it's like you use a little foil, uh, a ping pong ball, and something else, and you light it on fire, and it creates like a, 
smoke. The problem with that smoke is you definitely don't want to breathe it in because it has aluminum in it and some other yeah. some other weird metal, metals. But yeah, no, smoke grenades absolutely still have a, a pretty good practical practical use in in the apocalypse. The problem is you have to make sure they're kept uh, uh, they don't get exposed to water because they'll 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 like fireworks. They'll 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 come apart. Oh yeah. Actually, in the zombie apocalypse, fireworks would come in handy too. There's a distraction at the very yeah, least. Yeah, you can use them as a pyro. Or yeah. you can learn to make your own. I was watching something on, I think, the Discovery Channel. It was, it was actually showing how they make fireworks, and it is incredibly dangerous. Oh, I bet. Unfortunately, you can no longer use pyrotechnics at Bellahack. Yeah. yeah. Case, unfortunately. Of, unfortunately. Uh, insurance policies. Yeah, can't use smokes, can't use... You can use bangers, that's about it. Bangers. But you can't uh, use them in context. Yeah. So, um... I'd love to get some actual flashbangs. <laughs> those would be those would be fun, but... Those are uh, those are considered a... My uh, goodness. Explosive device. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know... I don't know the legalities of owning a flashbang, but that'd be really interesting. Yeah, yeah, I think the SWAT, the SWAT team trains when uh, when I was a cop. The SWAT team trains with them. We never got like any exposure to them. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, I've got some examples of like gas masks and stuff in video games. Uh, so I got the Stalker one, Metro, and Wasteland. <laughs> yeah, and I the love, Wasteland love, uh, definitely the Wasteland picture definitely has a variety of. Uh, versions of gas it. mask yeah because in game you can get a bunch of different styles ones and i guess yeah. for uh for for information purposes for uh i guess for the people listening in you can buy the the actual mask itself i mean you you, you can get different styles you can get different you know, whatever suits you but they have different filters that you can screw into it that are rated for different things mm -hmm. like how the painter mask have different filters because i used to have a uh, and i bought it at a surplus store it was a gas mask that was filtered it was added a two filters for tear gas. It was used by police, um, but you can get ones that are more for like CS gas, something or uh, no, it's the same thing. You get stuff that's <laughs> more for like biological stuff. You can get stuff that's more for um, uh, was it biochem oh, and uh, part like certain particle ones. A lot of them will uh, will be used for in for like asbestos and stuff like that because yeah. especially in the area the uh yeah. prophet and i live in a like there's been a there's a lot of asbestos in a lot of the older buildings in the area because asbestos it's not the bestest no not at all that's yeah i had some in the building that i work in <laughs> <laughs> have you ever there's suffered a... from mesothelioma uh, paul Oh, I remember this. Such and such was... lawyer right now. Um, oh my, they like they they duct tape the entire room. They isolate it completely. But hey, uh, yeah. give me uh, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Trying to find the name of the movie. There was a uh, uh, let's see, Wasteland. There was a, a movie where um, one of the currencies was silver, and what? what they would do is they'd use the silver. Where they get they'd that use from? It for, well, they use it for um, what is it? Uh, was it silver? I have to look it up. Uh, no, it's no. I take it back. It was um, maybe it was part. Of, yeah, it was for powder. Okay. But they would actually use for um filters. And the other the other currency was water purification tabs that they made. Huh. So that was the that was the uh the currency. I'm trying to remember the name of the movie. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. We send. Movie. It could literally be Waterworld for all we know. Yeah, I, as much as people knock Waterworld, I really like the concept. <laughs> There's a lot of dumb decisions because you know it's an action movie, but like, yeah, the idea of having a completely flooded Earth is kind of terrifying. So I already don't like being in the ocean. Uh. So, isn't isn't um uh. uh yeah, it's escaping me. Mad Max basically in a opposite scenario where like most of the water is dried up. Yeah, the the lore on it, I have to look more into it's, it. But if, from what I remember, it's there's some sort of like an ecological event. Yeah, where a lot of the water ends up drying up. 
Like, it's not all um, gone, but... Yeah, it's not all completely gone, but what's left over is... Uh, I... Yeah, whatever's left over, like, the main Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, I think are, like, contaminated. I can't remember if there's war involved with them, but I know there was some sort of ecological disaster. Yeah. And Alrighty. You'd have to watch the, the first uh, movie again to get a lot of that stuff, because... Yeah, because it's a pre it's almost like a prequel to the actual disaster. Yeah. It's 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 in the process of society breaking down. 